Hello, it's Mr. Infinity VA coming at you. There are a few different things happening today. For one, I just bought this vehicle. It's not a sport model, as you can see from the wheels and the brakes. Not only that, it's got a 3.7 badge. It's a V6 wide exterior, which I actually like. I like wide exteriors. It's got a very light interior, which is tan or wheat, depending on how you look at it. And goes without saying, it's not a sport model, as I said that, right? This is a 2015 Infiniti QX70. Pretty nicely loaded. I think the only other option that I could have gotten would have been the sport model, the sport package. And as I said, you can already see from the seat, it's not. But otherwise, it's got pretty much everything else, everything else you'd need. So, since it's a new chapter, one of the first things I'd like to do is come here to the trip reset buttons trip a zero well okay I already zeroed that earlier actually I do it so intuitively trip B I don't really trip over that because I use this one for gas fuel economy so it's going to be reset so many different times but at one one two zero zero eight pretty young for for an Nissan V6 as long as it's been treated well so 2015 as I mentioned that's the mileage I am the third owner at this point and it's it's mostly okay I'll turn this off there you go I was trying to turn that off um, dashboard is nice not cracked so knock on wood the things stay the same as I said this is fully loaded got pretty much everything you could get except for the sport package for the year so you see all these buttons all taken up all these spots here taken up as well. I think one of my coolest features is gonna be that. Yeah, remote trunk. And you can see it flashes when that's going on. Shut so violently though. <laughs> yeah, and I look forward to reviewing this vehicle in the in the near future. I just was very excited to do this and I wanted to show showcase this. Um I like one thing I like about the newer models is that it's still a touchscreen by the way, but you have like three different modes for the camera. Right? So you've got this is a standard, this one right here is a standard, rear view. You can change the view on that side to check for carbs, right? See, see the wheel and then this one here ultra wide for the back and you can see it here then this is a standard one as I said I think it's pretty cool in case you turned your steering wheel and did not know where home was you do have guidelines guidelines over here but then you have wheels as well to show you where things are I like it pretty cool as I said I look forward to playing with this um, well, it's still... Okay, there you go. It will... And it holds for a little while. I think that's the other thing I liked about it, is that whenever you change, you know, your gears, uh, shift position, it holds for a little while before going away. And it helps you as you, as you ease out of tight spots. So, pretty cool. I like that. I can turn it off, though. There you go. Fully gone. And... It's been a while since I saw an FX with cup holders. <laughs> These ones usually go missing almost immediately. I really don't know what happens. But, yeah, we got one. There you go. I intend to... I would love to, like, 3D print some cup holders, something like that. Um, I don't know what material it would be made of. Maybe, you know, plastic if it's 3D printed. I've thought about metal as well, but that might be a little too industrial. But that's for later. For now, I'm just excited working everything here. Cool, hidden cool seats. As I said, this is fully loaded. The most loaded you can get at QX70, apart from the sport model. And not everybody likes the sport model. So, yeah, something something a little different over here. I think one of the other features I really, really like is we do have Bluetooth. Andy, oh, Andy, Andy Moore. That's where I'm buying it from. Andy Moore Buick. So I guess that's the Andy they're talking about. So Bluetooth audio, disc, which I don't have, Bluetooth audio. This one does not have the music box. They went away from the music box, but I know that they have better Bluetooth interfaces. So I think we have a pretty good starting point. 
the other thing I usually do is uh, go into navigation, delete the, should be able to go back to, okay, destination, previous destinations, I'll, I'll pan the phone away just to see. Yeah, see there are a lot of different addresses over there. That's one thing I usually do whenever I'm getting rid of a vehicle, just make sure that you delete all those things. So for now I'm going to hook up my, my phone to this so that I can have Bluetooth music for my trip back home and get to stepping. Enjoy the Bose sound system. Bose, Bose, Bose everywhere, including the, this one is what, 11 speakers I believe, including the subwoofer in the, in the trunk. And I'm, can you guys tell I'm excited about this vehicle? I am. One of the things I look forward to do, I've never really done a very good job of this, but I, I, went, I was pretty thorough in my search for this, in the way I searched for it. The finding it and buying it was pretty quick, but when I was given, you know, access to the vehicle, my search was so deep, so maybe a buying guide, you know, how did I settle on this? Why did I end up getting a V6? You know, could I not get a V, you know, a V8? The answer is not for 2015, not in the United States. But then, okay, you've already decided what kind of car you want and you've seen a listing and you like it. How do you look at that vehicle and qualify that vehicle? That, yes, that is good enough for me to drive, you know? So those are things uh, I intend to cover pretty soon. That is my hope. Okay, I think for now we're going to have to let it be and catch you guys on the flip side.